Welcome everyone, this is Joyful Decor and More with Denise. Today I would like to share with you a before and after of my laundry room. If you're interested in seeing how it turned out, please stay tuned. Okay, I'm starting off over here with this bar that um, sits here that we never use. It just sits there. This basket in the corner, it just sits there, never used. <laughs> then here's the uh, wash and dryer. Okay, over here is a, a cabinet. And you see what it has on it. The laundry bottles. Yeah, I have a dust buster that just sits there. Um, that little item there, a zapper. Yeah, this is a, a full cabinet. Okay, on this side, I have a little uh, pail. Uh, I have this ladder sitting behind the door that needs to be downstairs. Okay, take you around. And this basket that sits here. And we have this rack here that we uh, hang clothes on. Not that big, but it, it suffices. And then I have a window over here has a, uh, my valance on top, which I'm gonna keep the uh, valance. So if you're interested in seeing how this transformation takes place of the laundry room, please stay tuned. I'll be happy to show you the after. Welcome everyone, this is Joyful Decor and more with Denise. Today I would love to share with you my after laundry room. If you'd like to see how it turned out, please stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm starting off here with my wash, dry, and fold sign that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I think it was about $14.99. Okay, over here on my uh, cabinet and counter, let me show you that. I'll step back and show you the whole thing. I have a... Um, plant that I purchased from TJ Maxx. It was about $14.99. And then I have these two glass pitchers um, that I thought would be perfect for holding the laundry detergent because they have poor um, spouts on them. They have a little decor uh, uh, design on the uh, glass bottles and I thought they were beautiful and they only cost $2.99 from Marshalls. I have that little silver uh, picture frame back there. Okay, and then I have these two jars here that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. They were like $4.99 and $5.99. And I just placed some greenery inside of those. I don't have a, my husband and I don't have a lot of things that we use in our laundry room uh, per se to put, um, you know, like powders and things like that. So I just put some greenery in there. Um, this little, um, holder here, I place the uh, dryer sheets inside of it. It's like a plastic container and that was only $2.99 from uh, Marshalls as well. So I thought those were really, really great deals. Okay, the tray I had already, the ceramic tray. Okay, over here, I did a DIY. I purchased this, um, it was a frame from um, like from Kirkland's and I totally and completely transposed it and um, I painted the frame white and then um, it was like it was like a gray beige type like um, photo frame and I just totally um, just did it over everything inside of it all the letters came from Dollar Tree so I got on it um, clean soap and then I have the laundry room and the other um, uh, wash, dry, and fold, and the other um, things that you see on it. So I did a DIY on this. I redid it all over, and I, everything that, all the letters came from Dollar Tree. Okay, over top I have a laundry sign that came from Hobby Lobby. It was blue, and I painted that uh, white as well, so that was a DIY. 
because on this side, um, this sign here, or well, this uh, wall art came from, um, what's the store, um, at home. And that was about $14.99. So that went pretty well also. So then I'm gonna bring you down here to the wash and dryer. Okay, I did place a rug on the floor. Um, I can do without the rug, but I just placed it on the floor anyway. That rug was $11.99 and it came from, um, I think it was Kohl's. Okay, over here I did use my little garbage pail again because it's nice and small and it kind of keeps this um, door here from hitting the wall. So I decided to, you know, keep that there. And inside of here I have um, some laundry detergent. Okay. Okay, now on this side, we redid this side and I have hangers um, on the bar. The bar came from uh, Walmart as well as the brackets there. And then we bought this uh, shelf from Home Depot. All of it was um, very inexpensive. And then this um, floating shelf here that opens up we purchased that from um, Bed Bath & Beyond. I think it was about $29. And then I bought the plant and the decor on the right that I had already. And then I bought the plant from uh, TJ Maxx. And I think it was about $12.99. We decided not to put cabinets in because we really didn't need them since we have the big cabinet at the bottom. So we decided not to put cabinets in. But we did um, replace this with the rack that I showed you before. Okay, down here we have these two laundry baskets, which were absolutely perfect, and then they're, they're nice and large, and um, they hold <laughs> they hold our laundry pretty well because those baskets we had had were overflowing, and these worked so well, and they came from um, Hobby Lobby as well. They were twenty nine dollars a piece, but they had um, the fifty percent off sale. So we ended up paying $29 for both of them. And you can't see the actual size that well, but they are nice and tall. And they really, really doing a fantastic job with our, um, holding our laundry, our dirty laundry. Okay, I'll take you back up here, show you this um, kind of uh, DIY that we did over here. Over here, I kept the same balance and uh, the rod over on the uh, window. It's a pretty large window. I want to show you, but I think the sun will probably be, but I'm going to show you the window anyway. Okay, so I'm going to take you back around. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this is my after laundry room. Um, I hope you got some ideas. This is a uh, joyful decor more with Denise. Please do comment, subscribe, share, and like. And until the next time, blessings.